Hi, my name is John DeSmith. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to load Rails on a Linux machine. What I'm going to do to make it easy is I'm going to go to my website, jonathanmocksmith.com. You can search it on the internet. But what I'm going to do is use the instructions right from my website so it makes it quick and easy. So, first thing is, I'm going to go to my website and I'm going to look for how to install Rails on a Linux machine. First thing we have to do is download Rails. So, what I'm doing it right here is copying the URL to download the phone. Now I open up my terminal window. I'm going to paste them in there to save us some timing. And as you see, <coughs> it's now downloading. This will take a few seconds. But what I'm actually doing is I'm using wget to download the Grails uh, zip file. Once that zip file is downloaded, I'm going to do on top of it to my the, uh, home directory. I like to keep stuff like this in my home directory so I can play around with the versions and change them around. So let's just go in and see. Okay, so now I should have it. So right there, you, you could see I have the zip file. So I'm going to say unzip. Okay, and I'm unzipping it there. So right now I have it unzipped, as you can see. What I'm now gonna do is I'm gonna open up my bash RC file so we can ed edit some of the command. So what I'm gonna do again to make it easy is just cut and paste the exports from my blog and paste. So now you see, I put in the Grails home directory is the directory I just installed it to, and then I added it to my path over here. Um, what we really want to do is I want to confirm where my Java is. So what I'm going to do is open up another window just want to make sure I have Java. Okay, looks like I have Java 7.5. Let's just confirm where I put my uh, JDK. And as you can see, um, I have this. So let's just change this now to actually Java 7. Okay. Okay. So now, if I did everything correctly, I should be able to say, uh, "Dash version," and oh, it did not work. Oh, actually, what I have to do is because um uh in my bash RC and you do have to run that RC for it to source or else wait until the next time you log in but um, actually it should have uh, worked if, if I did it right let's just oh actually let's confirm that my oh I can tell you what's wrong what I did was on this directory, I use JX Smith on that server. On this, it's not JX Smith. So what you have to do is go back to the bash. RC, and I'm gonna take out the X to fix my username, and I'm gonna just resource it. Now, it should be all set. That's all it is that it takes to install it on Linux. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. I would love to help you. Thank you.